Hello everyone, this is Steve Jackson from Imprintables Warehouse and I want to do a quick tutorial this morning in Corel Draw showing you how to open up a new file and set up a page within Corel Draw. I wanted to do this as last week we were supposed to have a webinar on Great Garment Graphics and unfortunately I was ill and was not able to do the webinar so we had to postpone it until next month and kind of as a little thing to thank you guys for taking the time out to, to be there for that webinar I, even though I couldn't uh, uh, fulfill that for you guys I wanted to keep things moving along and show you some tricks out there and this one is a tutorial for you to kind of make up for that so uh, looking forward to having the session next month and continuing on with the Corel Draw series, but here's a little thing to, to keep you moving in the, that direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a, a, a new file and create a new page here. We're creating a new design or maybe we're importing something into it. And there's, there's three different ways to open up a new file in here. The first would be to go to File and then New. And you can see right here there's a shortcut key, the Control N that can be used also to open up a new file and if you've watched any of my videos or been to any of the webinars or tutorials you know I'm a huge fan of the shortcut keys because it speeds up production speeds up our artwork process so I always tell people learn the shortcut keys and most of them are right there if you go to a function like this for new or from opening one you can see the shortcut keys are right there next to it so as you're doing that going through the menus and if you find yourself repeating something over and over just start learning the shortcut key and it'll speed things up for you. So I'm going to click outside of that because I want to show you one more thing here. So we could use the shortcut key of Control N. I could go File and then New. And then I've got this other one right here, which is Start a New Document. And it's also telling you the Control N for the New. So let's click on that and we're going to open up a new document. Now I have it come up and tell me, ask me every time uh, all the different. Uh, portions of the new document as I'm creating it uh, because I like to have a little greater control over it and you can turn this off if you don't like it if you just want to get into there real quick it's right down here do not show this dialog again if you checked on that the next time you open up a new document it wouldn't be there if you want to get that back you can go through your uh, window and customization and, and get it back that way uh, I personally like leaving it on because it gives me a greater control over it so I could title my document. Maybe this is a Corel webinar set up a page. And now this document would have that, although I can't seem to spell or uh, use the shift key properly. I can use a preset destination where it's going to go to. I can change the size of it right here to a whole bunch of standard sizes. Or maybe I know this document, my graphic is going to be for a shirt, and I want to have this uh, my page size at 12 by 10 or whatever size you would want and change the orientation of it. If I want it portrait or I want it landscape, I can change it there. I can have multiple pages right from here and set it up with those multiple pages. We can control what color mode we're going to be in. I also want to point out as I hover over these different things, it tells me primary color mode there. And down at the bottom here in the description, it also gives you a little bit of idea of what's going on with that option that you're hanging over. So if I came up here, say, to the size, see down there in the description, it says select the width and height for your document. So if you're ever in question about something, Corel gives you a lot of feedback in the description areas uh, and also in the hints area that tells you what's going on with it. So it, it's very helpful to have that there. Uh, primary color mode depends on what you're working with. You might be designing something in CMYK or RGB. You can pick that. A rendering resolution if we're going to be working for some roster graphics within that or just straight vector, but our rendering is going to be 300. And we can pick the preview mode. If I'm doing, say, only a cut only vinyl and I just want to be in wireframe, I can choose this right here and the document would be in that. Color settings, we're not going to get into a big discussion about this here. Uh, we, like I've said in some of the, the last webinar I did, you could do a whole webinar in color alone. So I'll collapse that. But I personally use Adobe uh, sRGB for uh, my RGB profiles and swap V2 for my CMYK. So those are the setups right there. Let's hit OK on this. And the document is already named for me up here. I've got my pages down here. And the page layout is right in here. You can see it's kind of got a little shadow showing from it. But this is our working space. Um, those that you may have used Illustrator or Adobe products, they call this an artboard. In Corel, it's called the page setup. I can right click on the edge of the page over here. And I can rename this particular page in the document. Insert pages before and after. Duplicate this page. 
switch orientation or pu publish the concept share. That's a, another Corel product. So we have some controls over there. Maybe I want to rename this page and we'll call this start. And you can see down at the bottom, it renamed that page for us. I could also right click on this here and then rename the page down there and do those same functions. Insert page before, after, duplicate the page. So let's, uh, let's do a page after. And on this one, we're going to rename that. I right clicked again and we'll call this uh, end for it. So we've got a start and an end to the project and we've got our page set up. You can change it at any time for your page here. We've got all the custom sizing for your, your different letter and uh, sizing for the pages, some of the, some of the standard ones out there. I can change that right there. I can input directly in, say if I want this now 10 by 10, I hit 10 and hit enter and it changed my page size on there. We can, it, it doesn't have an orientation now because it's equal on both of it. So if I put in 12 here, now because it's uneven side to side, one's longer than the other, I can change the orientation of it with just a click of the button. Now right now it's set that all the pages, and when I change something here, it's going to apply the page size to all the pages in the document. So when I go to the end page, we see that I've clicked on that in the start page back and forth, it's identical. The sizing is identical on it. If I had gone here and apply the page size to the current page only, so let's do that and we'll make this one 10. So this is now a 10 by 10 page, and I go to my end page, you can see that that one is a different size. So this is how you can control individual pages if you want. We've got our drop down menu for changing the different units. Say I wanted to be working in millimeters or feet or however I wanted to do it, I can set that up here. This is our nudge distance. If you hover over it again, it will tell you what the different portions on. This is if I use my arrow keys to move something around, this is how far it's going to nudge that object. And then the last one over here is your duplicate dis distance. So if I've got say two objects in here, well, taken, put just a square in there, we don't necessarily need two objects. If I click on this and I duplicate that or control D, it'll come up and ask me in a dialog what I want that to be the first time I do it. Let's hit OK and it did the duplicate at 0.25 by 0.25. Now if I take this one, it's still got that setting in here 0.25 and I hit control D again, it just duplicates that. If I wanted to, I could change this now to say one and one. And when I click on this guy here and hit control D, now you can see that it has jumped out by one inch. Okay, so you can change that duplication function within here. So just a quick tutorial, a few minutes here uh, to show you a page setup. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you at the upcoming Great Garment Graphics webinar next month. Uh, to continue on in Corel Basics. And uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel as we go along. I'll be posting up different videos here for you guys to learn more about it before we get there and even after that webinar. Uh, hope to see you at the next one, and thanks again for stopping by.